all you got to do, get your money right, get your mind right, get your physique right, and everything else will fall into place. Keep the most high first. Everything else is going to, everything, I promise you, everything else is just going to go up like this. But the moment you steady trying to chase that bitch and treat her like a, a celebrity, she going to always treat you like a fan. I don't care how many followers she got, bro. You have to treat them as if they are invisible, bro. You can't be but hurt. These hoes want you to play their game. And you know what? I'm not playing their game. We need should you. We play our own game. We make our own rules. But you can't make your own rules if you don't have your own life. You don't have your own car. You don't have your own income. You don't have your own job. You don't have your own things going on for yourself. Own circle of influence. Own mindset. Not being tricked by the media. Not being tricked by propaganda and a bunch of blue pill BS. You play your own game. You play your own game. This might be one of the most important videos you ever watch. Let's get into it. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Ron back with another video. If you're new to the platform, welcome to the tribe. By the end of this video, I hope you subscribe. So I got a clip for you guys that I came across on Facebook and i really wanted to chime in on this because it's kind of related to a video that i did uh recently of the, the brother that was going back and forth with his wife in the car um so i don't know if you guys have heard this but recently uh judge joe mathis um apparently his wife has filed for divorce and this is just another example of a guy you know that is successful being that provider and doing what he quote unquote is supposed to do now you know even nowadays in a time where women can make just as much and in some cases more than men um and from what I can tell, man, he don't look like he too happy about it, man. Obvious for obviously, but um, I don't want to, because this clip isn't really going to be giving too much attention to him, but more so about what the brother um had to say. That's reacting to the situation, man. Check this out. L.A. I committed to staying home more and being making my wife more more of a priority, but as you see, I haven't. I'm still here on the road. Men have it tough. Because it's very hard to have a like balanced life as a man when it comes to family life. Only mama is allowed to be broke and still be like fully appreciated and respected. People will say, you know, we ain't have much growing up, but mama did what she could. I love her for that. That very rarely applies to a man, very rarely applies to a father. And so men are oftentimes put into this position of where it's like spend time with your family, nurture your children, or go get this money. To even have the family, you got to go get the money. But in the midst of you go getting the money, oftentimes the family doesn't fully understand the sacrifice that it is that you're making. And so that's why even when the kids get grown, dad could have paid for every single thing inside the house. But at the end of the day, the way they view the house is like, hey, I'm going to my mama house. <laughs> and that's wild because I know he laughing, but the reason why he laughing like that is because that's true. That, 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 that's a hurt laugh. That's not a funny laugh. Um, but let me tell you, but, uh, here's my thing, man, cause I really think this is one of the reasons why you're starting to see more and more successful men that are kind of like checked out as far as marriage, because they understand this dynamic now. And then when you understand your value and this is what most women want and they, and you understand how rare it is because most men aren't financially able to provide for a woman to the point where she doesn't have to work herself or where she can at least try to do something from home yeah i can understand why those men would want to check out hell i'm starting to make more money and even i'm starting to lean more towards that way and and that's with me dating overseas where the experience is a lot better and i'm still and i'm still starting to lean more towards that way um because it does seem like that dynamic 
isn't just in the United States, bro. I mean, because think about it, man. I think because I because I really think this is one of the reasons why those type of men tend to be the coldest of men because they understand why everybody around them fuck with them because of what they produce and what they provide not because of who they are as a person not because of their character and that's i'm like and that really sucks man and i'm like and as a man if you in a position to be able to do that i can understand why you wouldn't choose to do that because you want to be seen as more than that let's keep it moving some transition point from teenager to man boys start being loved based on what we provide or what we bring or even our potential Mm -hmm. this is why girls fall in love with guys who are like i'm going to be a rock star or i'm going to be a doctor or they're in college and i'm going to be a whatever the potential is even attractive i wish i would have known that we're loved for what we provide not just for being us and it's a false expectation that we give to others but others don't give to us when a man pursues his dreams his goals his vision he has a mission in life that's attractive but when a man settles his responsibilities down starts giving everything to her and she starts doing better at my sacrifice i become less attractive and then she'll find another man who's worked more on himself because she'll be up higher because I gave her everything but didn't work on me. I'm loved for my value. And men do that with each other too. We're loved for like, what do you do, bro? What's your job? What we provide is our value. If I'd have known that, I would have been working on my own excellent, my own dream sooner instead of giving everything away. And let me tell you something, you guys, um, because I know there's probably some guys out there that are still experiencing this, but this is just one of those hard pills that you guys swallow. One of those hard red pills that you gotta swallow, man. No diddy. For real, like seriously. Um, because when I came to grips with this, it's gonna and I hate this and I hate to use the word hate, but you are going understanding female nature at first glance is going to make you dislike women. Feel me? Like I don't care how much you love getting boxed. Once you understand the way they think and the way they make select, you are not going to like them. But once you understand why they think the way they do and why they talk the way they talk and and understand the maneuvers and and a playbook then then it's like you know and then once you understand that you can only worry about the things that you can't control and let everything else fall into place like steph is cole said in the intro then you'll be you'll be just fine bro let's keep it moving don't chase women really they'll chase you is that your strategy? Yeah. Does it work? Works very well. <laughs> Look, no woman is going to be happy with you chasing a all the time. Like, all yeah. the time. I'm not yeah. talking about in the beginning when you guys are coming together. I'm talking about if you live your life chasing a woman and showing up at her doorstep and having flowers and shit and violins and, you know, all that shit, you're killing yourself. No, man, let me tell you something. And this is on the the, the back of the Will Smith situation. Mm -hmm. Um, It is neither your responsibility or your fault if a woman cheats on you. Okay? The relationship is not going to last. The reality is when you buy your way in and you become a provider and you just become like like you represent provision, that's not the same as being sexually stimulated. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like representing provision and just being a guy, yo, I'm going to buy you a bunch of shit. Yo, that's weak. I've always felt you're a a natural ladies' man in the sense that women really love you. The women I know who know you adore you. And you always seem to have a, a natural affinity around women. Would you accept that? Yes, yes. I, I, I absolutely adore women. I just do. I, you know, I'm a mama's boy. I, I absolutely love women. Uh, but you know, I also have uh, an abiding respect for them. I think that's that's what 
comes across more than you know. I'm not what you would call a ladies' man. No, you know? I'm not a real big skirt chaser. You, you look. Will Smith is one of the most successful men in acting that ever exists. Uh, the brother's a good brother. Um, absolutely lost. But when you go down the emotional rabbit hole of a woman, you'll never survive it. I learned in my first marriage, and some in this one, you cannot compete with women when it comes to emotion. Mm. We were not built that way. You will break. See, a guy, a guy that, a guy, nobody guys that use again. money, guys that use money, <laughs> never do guys that use again. money to to sustain their relationships and use money to get their way in. That's yeah, that was me. That's, that's weakness. Man, fuck, yeah. It's weak. I mean, because yeah. you don't believe in you enough, yeah. you you try no, to use man. money. Yeah, yeah. You see what I'm saying? The money. The money is an exclamation mark. Yeah. The money makes you more of whatever you already are. Yeah. But you got to bring something to the a, a small. Now, I want to stop right there because I think that part is very, very, very important. Um, and for obvious reasons, because you're hearing women complaining about it as well. However, my main thing is, is that I don't want men to lead with their pockets because the more you lead with your pockets, the more likely you are to get finesse. I'm not saying men shouldn't pay for dates and all that. I'm not I'm I'm not I'm not one of those extreme dudes. What I'm saying is, is that like LL Cool J said, you just going to come through and just buy a bunch of shit like on that simp shit like that whatever that one dude name man um P Diddy son and no those guys guys like that. Nah, don't be like that. Let's keep it moving. Time skirt chaser. There is a secret I'm going to tell you <laughs> after the show. <laughs> Come on, what's the secret? Don't chase women. Really? They'll chase you. Is that your strategy? Yeah. Does it work? Works very well. <laughs> I'm going to get in trouble for saying this because. How? Do, so expl explore this technique for me. So. What is the technique of letting them chase you? How do you make yourself known as potentially available? Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They can handle a level of emotional baggage and, and amending that we can't. So listen, don't hold yourself responsible for your woman wanting. A, a woman will always want more than you give her. Right. I don't give a damn it. Listen. If you don't believe me, first of all, look at Will Smith. Go back and look at, look at, compare the careers, money, and everything. Mm. You can't. Go back and look at, uh, you can't compare many men to, to Will. Go back and look at the richest man in the world. Amazon owner. Mm -hmm. his, his woman is staring in the face right while he's right there, staring at Leonardo DiCaprio. Mm. A woman is something about them that always desires more. It's not your fault. Mm -hmm. Okay? How many times you been married, Mike? Three times. Three times? Yeah. I practice hypergamy. Hypergamy a motherfucker, ain't it? Bruh. Ladies, this is another reason why men don't want to get married or get in, be in, involved in anything serious. I practice hypergamy. Hypergamy has gotten so bad with y'all to the point that there truly is no satisfying y'all. Y'all, y'all, enough is never enough. Like men really are throwing in the white flag. I'm like, now I'm starting to see, I'm starting to understand why black pill content exists now. But that's that, it's my mother's love. That's what you want. That's what we want. Any woman that we associate with because they remind us of our mother, even right. consciously. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. She could be educated, most could have been but she had the personality of the mother, something about her. That's the only reason I like you anyway, because I'm attracted to my mother and you had that characteristic. Right. My first love, I fell in love with her because if I got sick, she used to 
console me like my mother. She was the only motherfucker. Listen. <laughs> To heal me like my mother, mm. and it would not. This ain't no no sex. This was just on some. Listen, you know. listen. I know you said no sex, but know why it didn't work? Because of sex. You know what I mean? We look for our mother and our lover, but our mother could never be our lover because our lover would never love us like our mother. And we're back in third quarter planning. Adams is quarterbacking this project, and she is looking. She's not in her. It's not in no woman to love us like our mother loves us. It's not in her. Don't care how much a slave she is. Don't care how many people she fucked for you, bringing the money. It's not in her to love you like your mother loves you. Eventually, she'll oh, turn her man, back on that's you. That's crazy. Eventually, she'll turn on you, nigga. You treat her like a <laughs> dog, you turn on her. Love her like your mother loves you. That's no. what's wrong. Yeah, listen. <laughs> listen, hey. It ain't any other love hey. like your mother. Hey. I listen to Man, that's some real shit. And you know what? It's funny, bro, because right around the time where my channel first started gaining motion and I got monetized, I actually reacted to this Mike Tyson clip. Man, you talk about dropping a gem. Because it because it's definitely truth to that. Um you know and but i think the real reason why men look for those characteristics is 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 because we want we want a woman that's like our mother for the for the sake of the children not for us so to speak otherwise yeah i can see why that might come off a bit weird but fellas let me know which and ladies five percent that watch <laughs> let me know what y'all thought about this if you're new to the platform please subscribe oh geez i appreciate the love and support make sure y'all hit that bell notification that way y'all know what i'm uploading hit the like button because it helps with the algorithm and helps me reach a broader audience also look out for the travel vlog channel unplugged traveler link is in the description until the next video y'all deuces